Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Velvis. We are breaking our fast this morning and we are filling our spirit with the word of God. And again, I am using my trusted cell phone, uh, the Bible app to read our scripture this morning. And we will be coming from John 21, starting at verse 15, which reads, When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you, Jesus. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. And Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. I have read John 21 uh, verses 15 through 17. Um, and my actually all of it goes together, actually, because uh, here's a dialogue between Jesus and Peter and Jesus um, gives Peter an opportunity to express his love to him or for him um, after denying him three times. He gives him three opportunities to express that again. And here you, you have two different forms of love that are mentioned in this, these scriptures. Um, the first two questions, Jesus is talking about a different type of love. He's talking about an agape love. An agape love is a love that is committed without concern for what is, what, uh, what's in it for me. It's without a concern for what's in it for me. So it's a, um, it's a more genuine, more uh, committed love. Um, but Peter, when he responded, he responded with a philo love. And I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um, it was more of a brotherly love and affectionate love because of you, your value uh, towards someone that you value them and that um, you express affection or high regard toward them. That's how Peter was responding. But God was, but Jesus was talking about a higher love than that. He was saying one that's not concerned about yourself, but one that's actually concerned about someone else. And so, um, he asked Peter, even afterwards, he said, um, feed, Jesus said, feed my sheep. Uh, Simon, do you love me? Peter was hurt. Do you love me? Um, Lord, you know, I, I, you know, all things, you know, that I love you feed my sheep. He kept saying it. So here, here's the call that, um, Jesus was giving to Peter to love um agape Lee. and then that means what um uh, he was talking about what lamb and sheep which are very tender animals which um we they have to be protected they they're some people call them dumb um and they have to be led and nurtured so here you're talking about loving uh feeding, shepherding, nurturing, protecting, guiding. Um, and my so my question for us this morning is, who are we supposed to be feeding? Who are we supposed to be protecting and guiding and nurturing? Who are we supposed to be going forward um, and showing that agape love, not because of something that we can get out of it, but because of something that someone else needs? There may be uh, something, the gift that God has placed down on the inside of you, God has placed down on the inside of me that is needed for that lamb who doesn't know that is needed for that sheep who really needs the guidance, who's probably growing, uh, but really needs that nurturing and guidance and God has given us a gift. God has given you a gift. So the question is, who are we supposed to be feeding? What is, uh, what are we going to do with the love that we have for God? Are we just going to hold it to ourselves? Are we just going to, are we going to just, you know, keep it for ourselves so we can get all that we can get and say we're blessed or are we going to share it with other people? Are we going to share that love by putting their their needs, their concerns before our own? So that those are um, 
that's my takeaway scripture for today. Um, and that is our verse for today. Um, I encourage you to pick us up scripture, meditate on it, ask God, what does he want to speak into your heart today and put it down in the comments. Let us know what's going on in your life. Let us, we want to walk this journey with you. I do. And, and I want you to walk with me as well. Um, so We've broken our fast. We've filled our spirit. We've reflected on the word of God and just thinking about what he may want to say to us this morning. So um, I encourage you to take the word of God with you. Love like God loves you. Um, and, and just know that you can never go wrong by loving someone. So be encouraged today. I love you. Um, and just know that you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through. So uh, be blessed and I will see you on the next episode.